We're in the Borders Dining Room today, this beautiful heritage building with two superstar leaders of our boarding community. It's a special world in boarding. It's a very particular kind of world. It's been part of Scotch for a hundred years. So it's great to be with Mel and Emmanuel today to talk about Borders Week last week. Now, Mel, what happened during Borders Week last week? So Borders Week was pretty busy for us. We ran a few activities, basically just to raise awareness for like what we get up to in the boarding house yep. and to build bonds between day students and boarders. We had um, Borders of a Day student netball. Uh, we had a barbecue fundraiser um, with all funds going to the um, the, yeah, the Royal Flying Doctor Excellent Service, decision, yeah. and then we had the Borders Assembly. Fantastic. Tell us about the Borders Assembly, Emmanuel. The Borders Assembly this year was pretty similar to all the other years, except this year we incorporated a video and an activity with the heads of house, which show our routines in the boarding house every day. And we'll come back to that one in a second. Mm. You played a piece of music for us. Yes, I did. What did you play? I played Always With Me, Always With You by Joe Satriani on the guitar. And you are an extraordinary lead guitar yes. soloist, and it was a wonderful experience to hear Emmanuel just take us to a new place with that piece of music. He's so cool, but it's all about hard work. It's all about the commitment that he's made to his instrument, which yeah. is wonderful. And we had your mum speaking. Yeah, so my mum was a boarder at Scotch from 1978 to 1982, and she's from Tennant Creek, so she just talked about her experience. And how long did it take your mum to get home at the end of every term? Ah, uh, 36 hours. 36 hours in a bus. Yeah. All the way home. Yeah. Gosh, things have changed since then. Yeah. Now then, we put the heads of house through a rigorous experience of being a boarder at Scotch. Explain to us what the background is and how they performed. The four minute dash is a popular routine every morning at around 8.15 we have a four minute song play and within then all boarders need to be down into the main common room for a meeting. Usually students don't wake up until 8.15, so that four minute dash kind of represents how most of us live every day. I think the heads of house, it being their first time, they did a relatively decent job, ate their breakfast, got dressed, and most of them were in somewhat of a state to go to school. So they actually, so they actually had to be dressed for school? Yes. We do do breakfast at 7.30 as well. We do yes. have four to go to breakfast. That's, that's important to say that. We feed, <laughs> yeah. we feed you in the mornings. Uh, but that last minute dash is very important to get you ready for the, the, the working day. Yes. Now the working day is pretty long for you guys. You're here at the weekends, you're here in the, all day every day. Tell us a bit about the support you get during homework times in the boarding house. So we have heaps of different types of staff and tutors working in the boarding house. We have the regular wellbeing tutors who check up on us, make sure that we're on top of everything. And then we have academic support tutors as well who like help us with work. They specialise in different areas, maybe biology. Um, and a lot of them are ex-Scotch students, so they really understand um, our work and stuff like that. I've often said to parents that this is a great service, even for day students, if parents are busy running their businesses, running their professional lives, Boarding is a great option because the academic support you get, as well as the social stuff that happens, is really spectacular. And the social stuff is pretty good too. You have lots of you do trips, you have activities. Yes. Tell us a bit about that. On weekends, we often have activities on Sundays. This weekend, everyone's going down to bounce. We do ice skating, we do trips to Glenelg, trips to Maccas, I think. And you're on site for all the netball, the football, the, yes. the rowing gets up early, the show rehearsals, all that sort of thing. It yes. really makes the whole of school life work well. Um, I am particularly fascinated by the lack of skill on the table football table. I've been <laughs> over there several times and beaten all comers. One day maybe somebody will beat me. Yeah. Otherwise, Mel and Manuel, thank you for your leadership because you have to set an example. You have to be the people who organise events and organise assemblies. Thank you for your leadership. It's, it'll stand you in great stead and it does our boarding house the world of us. So thank you for all that you do. Thank it's you. wonderful work and long may our boarding house be under such great leadership. Thank you. Thank you.